What's going on everybody? My name is Thomas Duffy and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the min-max function in a CSS grid. Let's get started. So we have some HTML made up of a container and a few divs with some background colors. The container has a display of grid and a height that covers the page height. So we'll start by setting up some grid template columns. Let's say we wanted three columns at 100 pixels wide. So we can set it up like this. And now you can see we have three columns at 100 pixels wide. Now let's say we wanted to give these columns each a minimum width and a maximum width. The way we can do this is by using the min-max function. So the min-max function takes in two arguments, the first argument being the minimum width and the second argument being the maximum width. Now you can see that the columns all respect those min and maximum widths that we just set. So what's really awesome about this min-max function is you can use percentages, you can use uh, pixels, you can mix and match percentages with fraction units. Um, so let's go ahead and play with that. So let's go ahead and give the first column a minimum width of 20% uh, with a max width of two fraction units. And let's give the second column a max width of three FR or three fraction units. And let's leave the third column at 300 pixels and see what that does. So we can see that respecting those min max widths that we set for those columns. So now there's one more trick that I want to go over, which is dealing with the issue of content overflow. So let's go ahead and add some content to this markup. And then let's go ahead and resize this. And notice the first column, which is set to 20% min width. You're going to see the content start to actually pop out of the container there. So to fix this, all we have to do is pass in the min content argument. All right, so let's go ahead and resize that. And now what you see is that column now only shrinks down to the minimum size that that content will shrink down to. So another argument we can use is the max content argument. And what that's going to do is just set the width of that column to the max that that content can grow without any line breaks. So let's go ahead and try that. All right, so now we can see that that second column is now just basically stuck. Uh, to the width of that content or the max that that content would grow. All right, hope you enjoyed that video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so for some more awesome web development tutorials.